Fallout 76 is a rather divisive Fallout game, but in my opinion it's a considerable improvement from Fallout 4 in all aspects with the exception of mod support, which unless I've missed something is still nowhere to be seen despite being talked about even before the game released, so whilst we're waiting for Fallout 76 to get mod support, today we'll be looking at some subtle mods that you can install that'll make your Fallout 4 feel a lot more like Fallout 76. And for the first mod on this list, you probably already have it downloaded, and that's 4UI. Now, if you don't know, 4UI is essentially a HUD editor that allows you to configure your HUD in-game through the MCM. Now, there's a load of 4UI presets available on the Nexus, in case you can't be asked to configure it yourself. However, I couldn't find any that fit the vibe of Fallout 76, so I just decided to make it myself. I'll show some of the colours and various other settings I used on screen now, so you can recreate it in the case of me forgetting to upload it. But 4UI can only really do so much, and there's some HUD elements such as damage numbers and the cap widget, which are present in Fallout 76 and not Fallout 4. However, thankfully, there's some mods to add those in as well. HUD caps is going to recreate the Fallout 76 caps UI and it's going to be fully configurable via the MCM. So you can change things such as the icon that appears, such as changing it from caps to a new cola bottle, and you can also change the colour of the numbers as well so they can match your HUD. Similarly, the floating damage mod will add in a damage number whenever someone's hit, and this will also be completely customizable via the MCM, allowing you to tweak things such as the size and colour of the damage numbers when they show up, and much more. This is a pretty good mod if you want to see how much damage your weapons are actually doing, and it's just a sort of nice feature to have in Fallout 4, but I can understand if this one specifically isn't for you. Now that we've tweaked and added in various aspects of Fallout 4's HUD to make it more similar to that of Fallout 76's, how about we go a step further by using Fallout 76 map styles for Fallout 4? Now this is a retexture of the world map, making it a similar style to that of 76's, with there being multiple versions you can choose from, such as a plain map, or you can opt for a version with bobbleheads and magazines added in as well. Now personally, I think this is the best map option we have at the moment for Fallout 4, as it keeps that Fallout vibe whilst being a considerable considerable improvement from the vanilla map. But if you're going to be downloading the last mod, you'll likely also want to check out some of the other mods by the same author. Perk menu style Fallout 76 is going to redesign Fallout 4's perk menu, making it fit the theme of 76. Similarly to the previous mod, there's also multiple versions of this available, such as one with ovals as the background and another with a band going across all the specials. Personally, I love this retexture and I think it's going to stay in my load order for a while from now on, as the transparent background makes this feel a lot less invasive than the vanilla Fallout 4 one. However, loading screens in Fallout 4 will still kind of be um, boring, especially if you're going to be looking at them for a while, but with the mod Fallout 76 loading styles for Fallout 4, we can spice things up by adding a 76 style flair to the loading screens of Fallout 4. There are so many different styles, with there being 7 exactly that you can choose from, and the best part about this mod is it changes the location of the text boxes that show up during loading, and this is perfect if you also want to pair it with a loading screen background mod, and in my opinion this looks a lot better than the Skyrim style screens we have in vanilla Fallout 4. But anyways, that's going to be it for today, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.